Hello there. Right, this video uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, the psychology of gambling and the mindset that you need to be in in order to be successful and some of the things that you can have going on in your mind which can actually prevent you from being successful. Now, when taking part in any type of gambling system, whether it be horse racing, casino, um, stock market, say for instance, um, when you experience a period of losers, uh, it's human nature to inevitably start asking questions about, well, is this system actually working? Has something gone wrong? Uh, and that's the point when a lot of people will um, jump ship, take the money and run, so to speak. Now, I hope by now I've illustrated the fact that this service does actually work in the long term. And it's the long term, the big picture that you need to be um, interested in and not the short term results because it's people who get too caught up with the short term results they're the type of people who inevitably uh, jump ship when you have minor little fluctuations in the results and those are the types of people who become the system drifters that I've already uh, mentioned where they'll jump ship go on to another system and repeat the same process in a, in a never ending loop and never really get anywhere they don't stick with a system that actually uh, works they're always looking for this um, holy grail system that never ever loses which basically doesn't exist now um, I read this um, trading stock market trading psychology book a while back and how they explain this process was um, euphoria and pain um, you experience euphoria when you're making money and then uh, it all turns sour and negative when you start losing money and that's the point when people pull out and run. Now with this particular system um, you need to be in it for the long term so you need to find a way of sidestepping uh, this kind of emotional roller coaster which people ride um, and that's caused by the fact that people believe that they're uh, winning and losing money which, which they are but there's a, a way to actually approach it to sort of help with that process so it doesn't become as much of an issue as it would from the perspective that most people are used to, to dealing with and uh, the way that I do that is is this um, if you look at this chart this is all pure profit in excess of the bank that you started with you, this is starting with the bank at two thousand pound now when you built up to this level uh, which is just under two thousand pound this is two thousand pound that that you didn't have um, oh sorry about that just a thing on my computer uh, this is two thousand pound that you didn't have so you c in effect you can treat any money any profit that you make in excess of your starting bank as being um, like monopoly money so when you have periods of losers uh, you could actually imagine that you're not really losing because it's money that you, you didn't have to start with anyway so it's not a huge great concern when you have little fluctuations along the way because first of all as I said it's money that you didn't have so you're not really losing anything and you know that this system is going to pull back anyway so there's two reasons to actually stick with it so what you need to do is you need to give this service a little bit of time to get you in profit and then uh, what I would suggest is treat your profit in excess of your bank as being monopoly money so in effect you're playing a game instead of instead of worrying about winning and losing money all the time and being caught up with this emotional roller coaster you're treating the whole thing as a game because with this service the only way to win the game is to actually play the game now where you want to be start being concerned is uh, once you've made some profit when, if you actually start coming back down to the level of where you started from and then it starts eating into your uh, the bank that you started with that's when you st want to start being concerned that you're actually losing money in fact um, first of all what you need to do is when you start this um, service with it with a particular bank it needs to be uh, money that you can afford to lose it's no good starting um, this service with uh, this month's mortgage money say for instance and if you, if you if you have a few losers you're not going to be able to to pay the bills um, that's not where you need to be coming from um, it needs to be money that you can afford to lose um, and if you lost a lot of it which is 
not going to happen far from it with this service but hypothetically speaking if you lost a lot uh, it's not going to be the end of the world so what I'd advise you to do is start start this service off um, with whatever bank that you've decided upon and have a figure in your mind like a stop loss um, which is in like stock market terminology which is basically a figure in your mind where once it comes down to that level that's the point where you're going to pull out and you've decided um, beforehand that that is the amount of money that you're willing to risk um, before you actually decide that this service um, is not for you and you're going to actually pull out and on this particular set of results the worst thing that happened is um, at this point you went from two thousand pound down to one thousand pound so um, you if you would have been unlucky to start at this point you would have lost half your bank but then um, you would have shot right up again to to um, it's about four thousand at the moment so so my advice is whatever bank you start with um, have it in your mind that you will risk half of that bank in order to uh, give the service a go to get yourself up in profit I mean the, the chances of you actually um, losing half your bank are not very not very uh, great at all um, because if you it's just a case of sticking with it getting getting yourself to the point where you're in profit and then treating profit in excess of your bank as being like monopoly money and then you're in that situation where uh, you're playing a game then which allows you to ride out um, these dips without being too concerned about it and uh, once you're actually in that frame of mind where it is uh, it does become a game then there's nothing to stop you being successful and reaping the rewards that this um, service actually provides you in the long term so I won't go any further into this subject because it's not it's not too uh, complicated to get a, a handle on it's just a case of uh, overcoming a few little uh, psychological perspectives that people have that prevent them from actually sticking with systems uh, some people have their own way of dealing with these types of things this is just something that I that I view it from which um, which helps me um, stick with it so I hope I hope you found this uh, video useful in some way um, and I'll see you in the next one okay thanks a lot bye for now bye bye